So we spent a fair amount of time working on the outside of a house. Let's go ahead and take some time and practice doing what we would have on the inside. So today we're going to go ahead and create sort of the structure of sort of an imaginary house that we can decorate the inside of. We're not going to bother with details <clears throat> like a roof and things like that because we're just going to focus on the inside here. So go ahead and open up SketchUp. And we're going to start off by creating the, uh, the rooms that we're going to be using. We're going to have a very nice, very large, one-bedroom sort of apartment. So we're going to go ahead and grab a rectangle tool, and we'll start by making the main living space. And I'm going to go ahead and make that 30 feet by 40 feet. Don't forget to use the apostrophe to indicate that you mean feet. I'm going to try that one more time. There we go. Okay, and because we want actually want to have walls, we're going to go ahead and create those walls. I'm going to grab the offset tool, and I'm going to shrink this rectangle by about six inches. So I'll type in six, and because we're talking about inches, I don't have to type in anything. I'll just press enter. And at this point, I can raise this outside part, which will be our walls. We'll raise them up, and I'll type in nine feet for our walls. So there's our main living space. At this point, let's go ahead and create a kitchen off the main living space. I'm going to create another rectangle, and I'm going to start it at the very corner here of the living space. And we're going to go ahead and make that 20 feet by 20 feet. Now, I want to offset this, but if I just grab the offset tool and begin to offset, it can get a little tricky. Um, because I don't actually want to have an offset along this wall right here because I already have that wall. So if I do this and I raise it up, now I've got this doubly thick wall right here. I don't really want that. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to grab just three sides of this room with the select tool. I'll click this one, hold down shift, select this one and this one, and now I'll grab the offset tool and now when I offset, I'm just grabbing those three sides. So I'll pull it in a little bit, and I will type 6 inches, enter. And I'll raise that up. And that way I don't have that doubly thick wall right there. I'll do the same thing over here. We're going to do a bedroom and a bathroom. So I'm going to go ahead and start at the corner, this corner. And we're going to go ahead and this is going to be another 20 feet by 20 feet room. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to grab all three sides. I'm holding down shift so I can select multiple. Grab the offset tool and bring it in six inches. And I'll go ahead and raise it up. I can raise it up and just hold the mouse right here and that says I want it to be the same height. And we'll do one more room off here which will be our bathroom. We'll start in the corner. We'll bring it out and I'll say 10 feet by 10 feet. And last time I'm going to grab all three. I will bring it in six inches and I'll raise it up to the same height. Now we've created all of our rooms. You might think to yourself this is a tiny little apartment but if we grab the selection tool and we select the floor I'm holding down shift so I can select multiple. We'll see that the square footage we're talking about is almost 2,000 square feet. That is a very, very large one-bedroom apartment. So while it might feel small, it's really not. Um, so in a second, we'll go ahead and we'll add things like doors and windows. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and add some doors. For the main door, what we would use to access the apartment, so the exterior door that would lead us outside, um, you can put it anywhere in the main living space that you'd like. Um, this is the only one where I don't really care where you put it. So doesn't necessarily need to be in the middle of this room. We might put it over here, for example. But I'm going to give you the dimensions for a standard door. And the standard dimensions are 32 inches wide by 80 inches tall. Okay. If you type that in and it ends up being short um, and long, then you just flip the dimensions around. And now I'm going to take my push-pull tool. I'm going to get sort of a slightly upward-looking view like this. I'm going to click, and I'm just going to bring my mouse up here to the far edge of the wall and when I do that you see that the um, the door itself looks a little weird it sort of doesn't know what to do with itself um, and I'll click and that will actually just cut that out 
Um, we're going to pretend like we don't actually have doors here. Um, and that will be sort of our exterior door. For the other doors that lead from one room to another, I am going to be picky about where they actually fall. So they should be in the middle of this piece of wall that connects, um, or that just means this, this part of the kitchen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring a guide over, and I'm going to search for the midpoint. And when I hit the midpoint, it's going to turn blue, and I can click. That is the middle of this wall right here. At that point, you'll recall that our wind, our uh, door rather was, thir six, uh, was 32 inches wide, which means that I need a line on each side that's 16 inches, because it's half of 32. And you'll recall that the door was 80 inches tall. And at this point, I can just trace using my guides. I've made the shape of the door. And one more time, I can just take the push-pull click on this door face, bring the mouse to the end of the wall and click, and it will have created a space in the wall that I can see through. I can then grab the eraser and I can get rid of that line, and now I have this nice opening into my kitchen. So you can follow those same steps to add a door um, that goes into the bedroom and one that goes into the bathroom. Um, same exact steps, make sure you measure halfway across um, and make that nice and even. The next thing we're going to talk about are windows, and I'm going to ask that you have at least one window in each room with the exception of the bathroom. You don't have to have a window in the bathroom for obvious reasons. So let's make a window real quick. I'm going to go ahead and put a window in my main living room. I'm going to make this one kind of long, like a nice bay window that would look out um, into the backyard. So I'm going to grab my guide tool, and let's do the same thing. Let's find the middle point of this wall. So I'll drag a, I'll drag one out and I'm going to look for the cursor to turn blue. That is the middle of my wall. Let's go ahead and make a six foot long bay window. So to do that, I'm going to go ahead and pull a guide out and half of six of course is three so I'll type in three feet. I'll do the same thing over here. Didn't actually have a guide there. Three feet. And let's go ahead and find the middle point of the ceiling right there. And we'll go ahead and pull a line down that is, let's go ahead and make this um, five feet tall. So we'll say two and a half feet down and two and a half feet up. And now I have the rectangle I want for my window. I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to go ahead and push it in and I'm going to tell it to stop at the far wall which will actually just open it up completely. And at this point I know that first off I could probably just get rid of these guides because now they're just going to get in my way and make oops and make things confusing. So let's go ahead and get rid of those. Um, I know that my walls are six inches thick. I made them that way on purpose. Now I can take the guide and I'm going to create a guide from here that goes across three inches. That's halfway of course. I'll do the same thing on the other side. We'll bring it across three inches and that will allow me, it's going to be a little tricky, but it'll allow me to start a rectangle way up there in the corner and I'll come down to that corner and now I have added a window that's halfway into the wall and I can grab my materials, grab some glass and there you have it. You have a pane of glass that's halfway into the wall. It looks a little bit more realistic. So that way you can make a, a window, at least one in every room. Feel free to add more. It might be nice to have one over here as well or a couple over here. Um, one in your bedroom and at least one in your kitchen. Uh, leave the bathroom alone and we're off to the races.